Hi, this is David Healy at LibraWave. In this video we're going to take a look at Dulcius. Dulcius is a dulcimer library, it runs inside the Rhapsody player. Currently this library contains just a single instrument, it's a Persian Santur, but we have plans to add a few other dulcimers to it as well. The samples in this library were performed and recorded by Nuno Silva, and there's a link to his website in the video description. So here we've got a velocity editor, so you can adjust the incoming velocity to sort of scale it based on your performance, so if you want everything to be at the maximum velocity you can do something like that. And if you want everything to be at the minimum velocity, you can do something like that. So to add new nodes to this uh, table, you just click and drag. And to delete a node, you can just right click on it. And you can adjust the curve between two nodes by right clicking and then just dragging up or down. So below the velocity table we have the AHDSR. So this is a standard envelope control. So this is controlling gain. And we can also control the attack curve as well. In the middle of the screen we have the articulation list. So we can click on these to change articulation. We can also change them using key switches and the key switch names are here so you can tell which key changes to which articulation. So if I press C0 it will take us to the normal articulation. You'll notice when I change articulation the AHDSR controls update as well. So you can set different shapes for different articulations. To the right of each articulation in the list we have a volume control. These are for controlling the relative volumes between articulations. So if I play the normal articulation and the damped, we might want to bring the normal down in volume so that it's a bit closer to the damped. So something like that. And you can adjust this to your taste and for the particular performance that you're trying to create. Over at the right we have the dynamics controls. So we've got expression, which is just a sub-volume control, and this is controlled by CC11 by default. And then we have the DXF control, which you'll notice is greyed out. So this just controls the RIS DXF articulation. So if I press and hold a key, we'll hear the RIS articulation, which is a bit like a tremolo and we can control the dynamic level using the DXF control. So it just dynamically crossfades between the different velocity layers, whereas with the standard RIS articulation the dynamics are controlled by the played velocity. Below the dynamic section we have the mallet section, so in the real world a musician can add different materials to their mallets to change the sound. So they might add something like felt or leather to the mallets to get a softer striking sound. So we can simulate that with this control here. So this is with no padding. This is with a little bit of padding, maybe this would be leather. And this is with more padding, maybe something softer like felt. And I'll go through them quickly now so we can hear the difference more clearly.
Okay, below this we have the standard volume control, controlled by CC7 by default, and we have a master pan control as well to control the left-right balance. Down at the bottom of the interface we have the on-screen keyboard. The light white keys show the playable range of the instrument, and this will change depending on the articulation. So some of the articulations, the harmonics for example, have a more limited range. The red keys on the keyboard are the key switches, we've seen those already, and those are used for changing articulation. We also have a blue key switch as well, and what this does is re-trigger the last note that was played. So if I play a note, and then I press the blue key, C1, it'll replay the last note, but it does advance the round robin as well, so it sounds slightly different. And this is great for performing tremolos. Over the top we've got the preset name, and if we click on that it will take us to the standard Rhapsody preset browser. I'm going to click the preset again just to reload the defaults so that the ADSR curves are back to where they were before I adjusted them. Okay, so now let's go through each of the articulations and just have a listen to what they sound like. So we've been hearing a lot of the normal articulation. Okay, now we can have a listen to the damped articulation. Okay, now the strike and mute. So this is the string being hit and then muted. And then we've got the harmonics, which have a kind of bell-like quality. We've got the door app, which is an ornament. So you might do something like this with the door app going into the normal. And then we have the Riz, which we saw earlier is essentially a tremolo. This is great for background textures. And the Riz DXF, which has the dynamics controlled by the DXF knob, which I have linked to my mod wheel. Another great feature of this library is we recorded multiple round robins as well as multiple dynamics, so that helps avoid the machine gun effect you get when you play the same sample multiple times. We also have a scripted engine that creates even more variations for each sound, so you can just keep going with this and you'll never hear the same exact sound triggered twice. So that was a walkthrough of Dulcius. You can find this library at librawave.com. There are links in the video description. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.